Hi friends. This is chapter number seven. Fundamental principles of organic chemistry. And the topic is cracking of petroleum. So, what are the learning objectives in this topic? At the end of the lecture, you should know why we do cracking. What is pyrolysis? what is thermal cracking catalytic cracking and what is steam cracking and you should also know that in all these processes which is the best one so let's start why we need cracking we need cracking because we want to get more gasoline by frictional distillation which is a process in which we separate the petroleum products on basis of their boiling point we get only 20% gasoline but the requirement of gasoline is much more we used to combust it in our vehicles so definitely we required more gasoline so to meet the higher demand of gasoline we convert kerosene oil and gas oil into gasoline by the process of cracking now the kerosene oil gas oil and so many other oils which are the crude oil products which we get by frictional distillation are higher hydrocarbons and definitely higher hydrocarbons have high physical properties have high melting and boiling points and it's very difficult to combust them so we convert them into lower hydrocarbons by the process of cracking the gasoline hydrocarbons lie between from carbon 3 to carbon 13 so we convert all the big hydrocarbons into smaller hydrocarbons so that they can lie between carbon 3 to carbon 13 and we also get many other unsaturated hydrocarbons which can be used in paints and dyes and so many other things now pyrolysis is something to break down and what is that something that something is hydrocarbons so pyro means five and lysis means to break down now we have to go with the five to break our hydrocarbons so can i say it thermal decomposition therm stands for heat and decomposition means to break down so here is a process in which higher hydrocarbons break down into smaller hydrocarbons by means of very high temperature like here hexadecane is cracking at 700 celsius now hexadecane is composed of 16 carbons we will going to break it into smaller hydrocarbon like n heptane containing only 7 carbons we will also get other products which will be the side products like 2 carbon compound ethene 3 carbon compound with double bond propene but these are side products and these side products will be used in paints and dyes and so many other things but here we have to deal with n heptane we all know that uh, in gasoline the carbon atoms ranges from c4 to carbon 4 to carbon 13 now can i say it that c7 lies between c4 to c13 yes definitely so it converts into gasoline and it can be easily combustible Although n heptane has octane number zero, 
and we require higher octane numbers for the best fuels but we will discuss it in next topic here we want to get lower hydrocarbons and we are getting it with the very high temperature 700 celsius so it's pyrolysis or we can call it as thermal decomposition in thermal decomposition lower hydrocarbons definitely they are more volatile they are easily combustible and undergo the burning process so we can use them in our fuel so the breaking of large molecules by heating at high temperature and pressure is called thermal cracking but one drawback which most of the time occur in thermal cracking is that we want to get 20% gasoline our major product is gasoline but in case of thermal cracking we get large amount of unsaturated hydrocarbons and not the much amount of gasoline so most of the time we don't prefer thermal cracking Now the second is catalytic cracking. What is catalytic cracking? Catalytic means that we have to use a catalyst. Now what is the process or what is the function of catalyst? Catalyst speeds up the reaction. We don't have to give high temperatures or high pressures to carry out our reaction we just have to use the catalyst and a suitable catalyst controls the whole reaction it speeds up the reaction and higher hydrocarbons will gonna convert into lower hydrocarbons just like our process of digestion our food digested break down into small pieces by means of enzymes enzymes are there to speed up our reaction to speed up our digestion similarly in the same case catalysis catalytic cracking enzymes or catalysts at low temperature 500 celsius and low pressure 2 atm in the presence of suitable catalyst break higher hydrocarbons into lower hydrocarbons the most commonly used catalysts are silica and aluminium formula for silica is SiO2 and for alumina Al2O3 so the mixture of silica and alumina are mostly used in catalytic cracking this is the best type of cracking which is used in petroleum industry it produces gasoline of higher octane number with less unsaturated hydrocarbons so can I say that catalytic cracking is better than thermal cracking yes i can say it now steam cracking the name indicates steam we have to deal with the vapors or with the steam now higher hydrocarbons in the vapor phase are mixed with steam Heat it for a short duration at 900 celsius and then cool rapidly to get our desired product. Now our desired product is gasoline but in this case we get lots of lower unsaturated hydrocarbons. So definitely from all these processes the best process is catalytic cracking. By means of catalytic cracking we get our suitable and we get our most required gasoline product while in case of thermal cracking we get more amount of higher hydrocarbons and in case of steam cracking we get more amount of lower unsaturated hydrocarbons so this is all about the process of cracking and how cracking carried out and what is the need of cracking I hope you listen it carefully and get my all points. Thank you so much.